Hub Neat Home and today we're going to do another storage solutions for small spaces video. Um, normally I like to do these videos a little more formal style but today it's going to be a little more casual because I'm going to take you guys on a tour of our front hall closet which is very much a multi-purpose closet right now. So. If you guys don't know, I do live in a small space. Um, I guess it's small by comparison to you know average house size. So we live in a condo here in the city and it is about 750 square feet altogether, not counting, you know, just including like the size of the bathroom, the size of the like laundry closet that's there. I did have another laundry closet tour video that you guys can look at if you want to see what's going on in there. Uh, the size of our walk-in closet, bedroom, kitchen, living room area, all that together is about 750 square feet. So not a whole lot of living space. Um, bigger by a lot of comparisons to some of the apartments and units around town. Um, but small enough for you know for two people and and a little dog to live in who's asleep over there he's having a really exciting day um so what the challenge was in this apartment is we don't have a linen closet we don't have um a a place for you know tools to go like a lot of people take put their tools in the garage um, or in like another like utility closet. We don't have that. We don't have a closet to put, you know, backup toilet paper in when we buy, you know, the big 12 count pack of toilet paper. We have no place for that extra toilet paper to go. Or when we buy lots of paper towels, we just don't have space for that extra stuff to go. Um, and plus our entryway area, you know, we have to have stuff to hold our coats and I don't actually have a utility closet for cleaning items either. So we have made this 38 inch closet really work to hold all of those things. And I'm gonna show you how we did that right now. All right, so just to give you guys some um, context, our this is our front door where all of the uh, the front door action is happening and uh, th there's my suitcase. <laughs> I just did a packing video. I don't know if that video is going to be up before this one or what's the deal that you can uh, what you can find out what I packed in there in another video. Um, so and this is our front hall closet. As you can see, it's very 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 tiny. Um, however, we have made it work for us, and uh, I will show you what is inside. Okay, so let me show you what's going on on the inside of the closet. So, as you can see, the, I'm gonna start with what's on the door. This is the Alpha Door and Wall Rack. I've talked about this in several other videos. Um, I love this. Uh, this is not sponsored. I did used to work at the container store. I did used to sell container store products. So I have naturally have drank the Kool-Aid from TCS. But it is attached to the door via the bottom and the top so it doesn't like um, shimmy around and um, you can make it as tight or as loose as you want and it comes off the door really easily. The only thing I will say is putting it on is is very very difficult. <laughs> I've done this actually at several clients houses as well and putting it on is actually I I there are there's always cursing when I'm trying to put it on but once it's on it is great and works perfectly. So um, there's a little bit of a learning curve and difficulty with putting it on, but once it's on, it's really good. So we have got um, a little hanging portion here with some hooks. You can put um, all kinds of fun things in this little like, it's a little like pegboard type thing that you can um, install. Um, we've got uh, some purses. I usually vacillate between two purses. This is my um, Baglini bag, which I love very much. Um, we've got some, a couple of reusable shopping bags for the grocery store. They mainly live in uh, the go zone, um, but there are a couple that live up there as well. Got um, one little hoodie here, just in case I get cold. And we've got some backup items in here. We've got our backup recycling and trash bags, the lint rollers, because uh, we have a dog and it is very, uh, Harry around here. We've got some extra really, really large trash bags. This is These are actually from when we moved. We haven't used them since, but I'm gonna keep them around because and when you're doing like really big jobs, these are really handy. And sometimes I take things like this to clients' houses as well. So I'm gonna hold on to those guys. Um, this is uh, umbrellas and things we need. Uh, this is actually a back brace for if, um, if my husband is carrying some heavier items. 
And we've got a little poncho in, hiding in there as well. So this is basically a ponchos and like back brace. That was my stomach, did you hear that? That was crazy. Anyways, we've got some stuff um, for the vacuum and for the robot mop. I do have a little robot mop. I did a review of it in another video if you're interested, uh, but it's very, very cute and it does a really good job. So this is for, it's basically for the cleaning items that we keep in here. So this is an extra um, dust mop head and this is an extra head for the mop. This is actually a holder for our um, cordless vacuum, which right now is just sitting up against the wall. I would like to install this so I can actually hang the vacuum, um, but I don't feel confident enough to do this myself. So I'm going to get someone um, who's a little more handy to do it. I, I am a little concerned that there is an electrical panel on this wall, so I'm going to uh, get an expert to take care of that for me. Um, and here we've got the extra uh, heads for the mop, the dust heads, and the actual wet mop heads. And down here, we've got a flex space. <laughs> so I like to keep one of these sort of semi-empty, just in case uh, we have something in our house that we that we bring in and we don't have a space for it. I can just pop it in here. Um, this is actually a great space for things that actually need to leave the house as well. So if we buy, um, something and we need to return it, I just stick it in here. Um, or if there's extra toilet paper that we have no room for, I will stick it in there. We do actually have a reservoir for toilet paper, which is in our bathroom, um, which I will show in another video. But if there is any extra toilet paper, which is very rare, we can put it in here. Um, and we've got a little thing of Kleenex. Um, we don't go through a lot of Kleenex, but you know, we have, like, to have one extra box. So that is what's in the door and wall rack. So as you can see, we've already got some sort of utility storage going on here, as well as like entryway storage as well and cleaning closet storage. So he's already multitasking and he's only been like, it's only the door. So it's already doing a really good job. So moving into the closet, of course, we do have coats in our closet. This is our coat closet. We do live in New England. It's very cold in the winter. Very cool in the fall, and very, very weird in the spring. So we have to have a coat for like every single occasion. And um, by the way, is this coat not just fabulous? Look at it, look at it, fabulous. I love this coat. Every time I'm like going to like the, like the opera to like see or see a performance, not be in a performance or the ballet or something like that, that comes out and it's just like my favorite thing in the world. Anyway, back to the closet tour. So on this side, we've got, so I've got some shelving here. This is um, Alpha shelving from the container store. This is the Alpha decor in uh, platinum and white, which I think is really very cool looking. Um, so I, the whole closet is about 38 inches. Um, no, is that true? No, the whole closet I think is 45 inches, I think. But I only filled the closet with 36 inches of solution and I'll tell you why. I have like seven or so inches on the side here to store some extra stuff. So on the side I've put a little bracket hook um, to put some, what are these? These are, these are aprons. <laughs> aprons for cooking, the holding off the side too. And occasionally I will put something else there as well, but I usually like to keep the front ones kind of open so I can grab stuff. Uh, but my aprons are in the back for cooking. If I'm doing any baking, I grab one of those from in there because I'm, I'm, I'm practically in our kitchen right now. That's how close we are to everything in this apartment. And up there, I've got our uh, dust mop and our like real broom. And those are actually um, command hook uh, holders for mops and brooms and they work really really well they are amazing if you're a renter definitely do that because it doesn't damage the wall and they have been up there for like a year and do not come down so we've got our little mops and our brooms there on the side so that's keeping that very very handy right there and then on the bottom my little space here in the back I actually do have a little duster I don't use that guy, so I think I'm gonna actually get rid of him because um, I have another duster that I use because it's got a microfiber head, but you can't actually put it 
in the washing machine, which is very, very frustrating. So I think I'm going to find him another home. But in the meantime, I do have a little step stool here in the corner and that's where he lives. So I just shove him over on that corner and he lives there. So now we've got our drawers right below our coats here. And I'll give you a little tour of the drawers. So the drawers have um, weird labels on them because they were labels from when I had drawers at my old apartment and I haven't changed them yet because it's, I just think it's too funny because like this one says, cookies and crackers, cat food and treats. We don't even have a cat anymore. Potatoes. I mean, it's very random, but so I like to keep them there. But anyway, those uh, these labels do exist. So if you do have um, alpha drawers at home, you can label them. And uh, these are very fun. Anyway, so at the bottom here, we have got uh, Clover's sort of like weather area. So these are his coats. These are his coats. He's got a couple of winter coats and a raincoat and a towel and an extra harness or two. Um, yes, he does need a coat in the winter time when it's like 23 degrees and he wants to go for a walk. He wants to go, um, but he shivers if he doesn't have his coat on. But once he's got his coat on, he's totally good. And um, the only thing he doesn't really use probably is his raincoat because he doesn't actually like to go out in the rain. But occasionally we do put this on and it's actually very cute because it has a hood on it. It's so cute. Um, I've got some extra scarves in here and my um, earmuffs. This is my husband's winter, wintry area. As you can see, we've got some partitions for these drawers. He's got his um, like extra, I think this is a little like bag and he's got his scarves in here and his gloves all separated so he can find everything. And this is where we are getting into the, the, the multi-purposeness of this closet. This is actually the attachments for the vacuum cleaners. We actually have two of these um, Dyson wireless vacs uh, because before we were married, we were two people with Dyson vacs. So we do keep, uh, we are getting rid of one of them. We are giving it to um, a relative, uh, but right now we still have both of them and we still have both of the uh, attachments. Anyway, this is where they live because the vacuum lives Boom, right there. So it's easy to grab attachments. So you've got like the, the motorized brush head attachment, which actually, um, truthfully, does not work that well. So I might actually ask Dyson if they can do something about that. Because <laughs> I do think they stand by their products and will and we'll fix stuff. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. We've got some extra electrical items here. We've got an extra power strip. Um, this is actually a really cool power strip. This is like a a like flexible, like a little sneaky power strip. So if, if you need to like, you know, get a little extra room where the power strip is, you can like move this around. It's really cool. And uh, some, ex uh, some extension cords just in case. And this is our uh, junk drawer, which I like to call utility drawer. I did do another video on why I do like to call it a utility drawer instead of a junk drawer. You can watch that if you would like. So it has basically our like, drunk drawer, drunk drawer, <laughs> junk drawer stuff in it. Um, it's got some tools, a little door stop, just in case, some silica gel, rubber bands, tape, an extra light, um, stuff for furniture, batteries, and uh, more batteries, and command hooks, and felt pads. We do have one of those um, little lights in here that is motion activated. Um, right now we've been like messing around in here, but if we left for like five minutes and came back in here and opened the door, the light would come on. It's very bright uh, because this closet is quite dark. I do actually have a studio light um, on to this area right now to light it up, but it's super dark in here. <laughs> anyway, so now we've got, <laughs> obviously this is the Prince's little shelf here. This is all of the Prince's stuff that he needs. The Prince Clover, our dog. So <laughs> he's got his little, this is his little weather gear bin. So he's got a cooling mat for whenever it's really hot outside and he's been like, <laughs> and he's hot. He can cool down by laying down on this. He's got a cooling coat so that when it's really hot outside, we can just uh, wet this with water and put it on him and he can cool down that way. Because uh, Cavaliers are very prone to get overheated. All, I think all of the little like short snout breeds are prone to get overheated like that, so uh, better safe than sorry. Uh, he's got another little poncho in here for traveling. Um, this Paul bomb, which is great for um, 
winter time and summertime. It keeps his paw pads um, nice and soft and protected from the salt on the street. Um, however, he does wear boots most of the time when it's icy out. Uh, these are the busy dog boots. He is very, very bouncy when he has these on. Um, and we've got a couple other, like he's got some socks as well in here. So all of his foot gear is in here. These are the paws uh, that are like the balloons for their feet. These are actually cool um, if it's really icy out. Otherwise, um, when I've put them on actually when it's raining, they don't actually keep his feet from getting wet. Um, somehow the water does get in. I don't know why, but they're great for protecting against um, the salt on the road, but for some reason not for like super wet times. I don't know, it must be like his special, the way that his foot is, because I swear other people say it works really well. Anyway, so that is his weather bin. Weather bin tour. <laughs> so we keep that right up there along with his like little travel water bottle that I take with me during walks. Some of his dog shampoo is there and his grooming bin full of his little grooming needs is also there. So I just take this to him whenever I groom. And uh, he's got a couple of puzzles back there as well, as long as, oh, as well as his little like lamb chop toy, which I actually meant to fix because the stuffing was coming out. So I was gonna take the rest of the stuffing out and actually give this back to him because he loves this thing. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll fix this this afternoon. He's like very much obsessed with this. I wish they would make these a little more durable because they just, they break so easily, the break, but they, I mean, they fall apart so easily, but the heat like is, loves these lamb chop toys. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so his little, this is basically all of his stuff here. This is Clover, his shelf. Good for him. Anyway, so at the bottom here, we've got some room for rain boots and snow boots. And you'll notice I've got my little um, O-Cedar mop here. I do have that robot mop, but this is a mop that you can use uh, actual like cleaner on. The robot mop, I can't actually use like cleaner. I have to use water or like the specialized cleaner that they recommend with it. And I just don't really like that. So I put method cleaner in this one and do a, like a really good manual job with this one. And it just kind of hangs out right there. And I can just grab it in the corner when I need it. On the top shelves, we have room for extra stuff. Again, we've got some pa paper towels there. That is where my extra scarves and hats are. And we've got tools there. We've got my, um, my, my drill is actually here and this is like screwdriver and all kinds of tools and hardware in there. And on the next shelf, this is getting very high. So this is when you need to take your, uh, <laughs> take that step stool out. We've got extra plastic bags, which we don't actually use and put very much in there. We're just trying to use those up because um, they're not really recyclable easily. So um, those are mostly for like special projects and times um, when we need plastic bags, but that's not very much. Uh, we've got some extra storage for photos and sentimental items. We've got some extra candles up there. And um, this is actually our like wedding box that says Paris on it because we went to Paris for our honeymoon and it has some memorabilia in there. Um, so that's where that lives. And that is the entirety of our utility slash front hall slash uh, whatever you want to cleaning closet because we don't have room for uh, a whole separate closet in our apartment. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that inspired you to make the most out of any small space you can and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.